Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, so we've been working on the skill component and mostly it's done. It's not that complicated. Uh, basically it's just going to hold a bunch of skills and you're going to be able to... Ooh, there you go. You can, uh, can kind of hold these and uh, level them up basically. That's it. Right, but the skill component to design it in a good way uh, is is kind of you know it's up to you, right? It's it's your personal preference. So if you like this map type of thing, where you can add skills easily like this, um, it's it's cool. You can just keep working on it like this if you want. But I just thought that uh, as you as we go on, that might not really be a good thing, right? Because <clears throat> we. Uh, um, we might spell this incorrectly, we might forget what it is, we might, you know, whatever. And it's just going to give us an error, it's going to throw an exception, and you're going to have a bunch of errors, and you're not going to know what to do. And also, skill components are going to be preset, right? Anytime you add a skill component to an entity, it's always going to contain the same amount of skills uh, if you don't change it in here, in the code itself. So that means that it might be better for us to use enumerations, all right? So... Um, the way I want to do that is you could either put it in skill component as a public enum or a private enum, but we want to access it from the outside. So I'm just going to put it globally here in the file. So enum, um, skills, all right, skills, and then we're just going to add some skills here. So whatever skills we add here we're going to be able to use in here. And that's how I'm going to work it, right? So I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to close down skill and I'm going to remove the whole map thing. Instead of that, I'm going to do a std vector of skill. And I'm just going to call it skills. Okay. Uh, I just have my enum as a large name right there. And call it, call the first one, what do we call it? We call it health. So health and then we'll just leave it at that for now you know we'll just keep it at that like this and there you go there you go all right so we can just remove those basically and it's not a map anymore so in the get skill what we're gonna do is we're gonna instead of the string here let's start here in the h file Let's do a const int index and just copy that, put it in here. There you go. So we're just going to get the skill and we're going to say that if this skills dot size is less than zero or size is larger or equal to this or index. No, index is the other one. Wait, hold up. So let's just do this. So index is and not skills that size. Sorry about that. Index is less than zero or index is larger than or equal to the size of this. And this will basically take care of the index thingy. Um, so if Wait, that would give us the error. Hold up. So there you go. Else, no error. So there you go. Skills. Index. There you go. At level. Index. So there you go. That's a good get skill function. We're just going to make sure it's not empty and everything. Um, uh, if... So we're just going to check it for empty as well. All right, because it could be empty, right? So just, just a good check to do. And then we'll just get the level out of that. And to add these, we could just do this skills dot pushback skill. An empty skill like that. I'm guessing. 
let's see what kind of constructor do we have in here it's just an empty skill constructor and that's nice that's nice what we could do actually here is we could keep an integer um, skill type okay and we can cross check this with the enumerations to make sure it's the same skill so we'll kind of keep track of itself you don't have to do this but uh, you could it's a good way to kind of see what you're adding right and then we'll just do a const int type or just an int type doesn't matter like this all right and then we can just go ahead and add an inline const int and get type const return this type easy so then we can check the type on the go if we want to do that um, good thing to do now when we add it we need to do this health so we add the skill health right um, and we got all of those here now one thing that you guys probably got to do is do that um, some of you on code blocks and Linux probably can't directly access the enumeration might you might be able to do it in this file but not outside so just if you get errors just make sure you do this uh, write the full enumeration name and everything so once you do that we're just gonna add a bunch of skills in here so health is you know health is kind of whatever um, we'll just keep it like that health maybe attack um, let's see accuracy probably something like that we can just add a few skills I'll look into it I'll add some more later on we don't need to spend a lot of time on that but just this is an example of what we can add right so attack would be damage I guess accuracy we'll see we'll see how that works out we'll just keep it like that for now so once you do that you have three skills going in the skill component so whenever you add a skill component to the entity it's gonna have those skills and you can check it out uh, for example if we go to entity entities player and we're probably gonna have to change how we create it as well create skill component um, all right that's very interesting I think we need to do that there you go all right uh, no we didn't really have to do anything special with that it's all good it's all good actually um, boom so there we go now the time has come to actually check if it's working and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a skill called endurance all right and it's gonna be leveling up you know as long as you're walking around and everything it's slowly gonna level up your character's endurance all right just like Skyrim or some other game and we're just gonna keep walking around and it's gonna keep working for us now we do have a gain we don't have a gain exp yet but we do have that in skill um, right here gain exp all right and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a function here called const Let's start off in the H file actually. Uh, hold up. Is this for skill? Yeah, this was for skill. Sorry, there we go. Alright. Const void gain exp const int skill. Actually, I'll name the skill instead because it makes a lot more sense. And then not a const because we're actually going to be changing stuff. Now, let's define this. There you go. Now we can actually change it up. So I'm going to change the name here as well to skill. Um, and just change that everywhere where it's required. Like that. Okay. Now let's get back to this. Now I want to gain EXP in one of the skills. And each time... I do that uh, I'm probably gonna have to use this if statement as well we're gonna have to check if the skill exists and we're not out of the bounds 
Uh, skill does not exist. Skill component. And we've got to give it the function as well. Gain exp. Uh, get skill. All right. Let's see. Okay. So else. We don't need a return here. We just need to do something. So in this else statement, we're going to go ahead and do everything that's important. And uh, to gain EXP, all I have to do is this skills, skill, gain EXP, and I'm going to gain a certain amount of EXP. And it's a const int, right? So const int EXP here as well. And I'm just going to put that in there. And I get to choose how much EXP I want to gain, right? You don't have to do that in your own skill component. You can have a set number if you want uh, and just have it kind of hard coded in there that you gain one EXP kind of or 10 EXP every iteration if you want to. Um, but I'm going to keep it like this because that's cool. All right, so there we go. There we go skill component let's go back into player and whenever i move the player update animation update movement component update okay all right okay that's interesting So we don't really have a update movement here. And we just got to check this out. Create movement component. Okay, move. I guess, I guess, I guess. We could just put it here, probably. If this move... No, if this skill component... This skill component gain exp uh, skills endurance just give it one exp all right and what i'm gonna do then is i just want to print that out i just want to get that and i want to print it out every time i gain an exp this skill component get skill skills endurance all right so i'm just going to print that out like that and that is each time i move i'm just going to go ahead and look at that i'm going to move these um functions up into player i'm probably you know i'm pretty sure that's the best way to go about things because they 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 use all the components. It's better to keep it there. Um, but you can keep it in entity if you want. So anytime I move. Okay. So yeah, I'm kind of leveling up pretty quick. I'm just walking around. So it is working. Obviously, the EXP is growing as well. And we're not having any problems, really. All right, so everything seems to be working. Now, that's a lot of EXP to gain. I'm going to make a little timer um, so that we don't kind of gain EXP every iteration, right? It's, it's got to be some time between, like, maybe a few seconds in between every gain of EXP, right? So probably we could just make a little timer using the, the clock or something. That's a good tutorial as well. Uh, for the clock functions and and we should be good, but we'll probably do that in the next one, right? For now, this is cool. Just keep it like this play around with it. I might just keep this here um, to Test around with it later, but there you go guys and girls Please check out the description box all that stuff. Also. Thank you so much for watching take care And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye